Welcome back to our D&D 5e subclass spotlight series. Today, we're taking a closer look at the way of the open hand monk, a subclass focused on using unarmed combat and special abilities to control the battlefield. Monks of the way of the open hand are masters of physical combat, using their bare hands to strike and manipulate their opponents. By harnessing their inner key, these monks can unleash a series of special abilities that allow them to stun, knock back, or knock down their enemies with ease. Level 3 Abilities At Level 3, Way of the Open Hand Monks gain access to the Open Hand Technique ability. With this ability, the monk can choose to impose one of three effects on a target they hit with an unarmed strike. Knocking the target prone on a failed dexterity saving throw, pushing the target away on a failed strength saving throw, or preventing the target from taking reactions until the end of the monk's next turn. This ability allows the monk to control the battlefield by keeping enemies at bay or taking them out of the fight altogether. At level 6, the monk gains the ability Wholeness of Body. You gain the ability to heal yourself. As an action, you can regain hit points equal to 3 times your monk level. You must finish a long rest before you can use this feature again. At level 11, the monk gains the ability Tranquility. You can enter a special meditation that surrounds you with an aura of peace. At the end of a long rest, you gain the effect of a sanctuary spell that lasts until the start of your next long rest, the spell can end early as normal. The saving throw DC for the spell equals 8 plus your wisdom modifier plus your proficiency bonus. At level 17, the monk gains the ability Quivering Palm. The ability to set up lethal vibrations in someone's body. When you hit a creature with an unarmed strike, you can spend 3 key points to start these imperceptible vibrations, which last for a number of days equal to your monk level. The vibrations are harmless unless you use your action to end them. To do so, you and the target must be on the same plane of existence. When you use this action, the creature must make a constitution saving throw. If it fails, it is reduced to 0 hit points. If it succeeds, it takes 10d10 necrotic damage. You can have only one creature under the effect of this feature at a time. You can choose to end the vibrations harmlessly without using an action. Best Feats When it comes to choosing feats for a way of the open hand monk, there are several options to consider. Here are some of the best feats for this subclass. Mobile This feat allows the monk to move quickly and easily around the battlefield, making hit and run attacks and avoiding attacks of opportunity. Tough this feat increases the monk's hit points, making them more durable in combat. Resilient. Constitution. This feat provides the monk with a proficiency in constitution saving throws, which can be useful for resisting spells and other effects. Sentinel. This feat allows the monk to make an opportunity attack against creatures who attack their allies, making them a powerful defender in combat. Alert. This feat provides the monk with a bonus to their initiative rolls and prevents them from being surprised allowing them to act first in combat and react quickly to changing situations. The Way of the Open Hand Monk is a powerful subclass that can control the battlefield and take down opponents with ease. With their special abilities and a few carefully chosen feats, these monks can be a force to be reckoned with in any combat situation. So if you're looking for a melee-focused character that can dish out damage and manipulate their enemies, the Way of the Open Hand Monk may be the subclass for you. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.